six months later out of my wallet and into my Steam library. The season pass for Skullgirls Second Encore is available for purchase on Steam, followed by the PS4 in May of this year. Now those cat girl loving mother hubbards can know what it's like to wait for two months for your port to come out. And then all the hype fucking dies down just where you want it. Seeing that season one was more of a promising first buy because of, well, the art and soundtrack, I spent $30 eagerly to try out the new and well-anticipated character, Annie. Only available on the endless beta version for a little bit of time only. I suspect when the video was released, uh, the beta would probably be over. Uh, for the fine-tuning of the PS4. Eat my ass. It's because of you, I have to wait two more fucking months for this character to be released. Officially. Because of you. PS4. For anyone that doesn't know what this channel is about when it comes to fighting games, I don't play fighting games. I just do combos. It seems more fitting to do a technical video that shares my discoveries and things that personally intrigued me and were exceptional to me rather than being a sweaty with a tear list up their ass. Let's get started with the, the, the normal- Stand Short is a multi-hit normal with vortex capabilities, able to hit up to three hits on both sides. Very useful for forcing opponents to stand during a juggle stage. Crouching Strong is a stagger move, nothing more. Considering that Annie has a few moves with hefty startup, this makes it easy to getting some good use out of Confirms and to Luminous Supergiant, her IAD Fierce, and Heavy Crescent Cut. Binary System is a 2 press input coded on Stand Fierce that puts your opponent into a juggle state. Only useful when grounded and in the corner. Use it solely as a juggle and the opponent will recover within a few frames. Its only use is for the corner and only for its faster follow-up the three-stage re-entry kick. <laughs> Crescent Cut is a grounded normal. <laughs> grounded normal? <laughs> what the fuck? Grounded normal? What? It's a special move, huh? That has higher strengths, granting the ability to link into other normals. While Medium Cut is good enough for a stand jab, Heavy Cut is a meteor version of that move and with good spacing, links into all 14 of her normals, command normals included. Reentry kick is a three-stage foot dive! <clears throat> I'm sorry, I don't know where that came from. Uh, that gets stronger on each hit. Imagine doing the punch version of Eno Sultry performance, but you get to do it repeatedly with all punch, kick, and slash ranges in mind. Even with the ability to air dash cancel in between them and follow up with whatever. Be mindful that you don't get the same three hits after your first re-entry as any other hit can put them in vulnerable freefall. <laughs> String theory, but instead of science it's actually about combos. <laughs> okay, okay this right here, I'm probably gonna have to drop the scholar act for this because this was, this was, it bothered me when I was trying to capture footage. The Jump Fierce re-entry juggle is one of the, I'd say, taxing mid-screen air combos that I had to do. Right next to, like, Fortune Cat combos, you know, Misfortune and Robo Fortune. The reason why I say is because positioning towards the ground is like a nightmare, almost. Like an actual spaceship, Annie needs to delay her second stage re-entry for the opponent to drop some and then air dash strong to drag the opponent down for a final kick. Now, to be the close to the ground is a goal. Any higher, you might be too far away for a follow-up, leaving you crash landing with no reward. <laughs> Funny analogy, am I right? The easiest way to pull this fucking combo off is on moderate-sized or big-sized characters like Cerebella, Beowulf, Big Ban, Eliza and her fat ass. <sighs> well, think funkily. Out of all other fucking combos, I think this one was still a little challenging, but it, it was it was at least a little bit of a joy to make the combo up on the spot. Her corner combo. Remember, remember, uh, binary system and three stage entry. Yeah, th those kind of do those kind of do uh, wonders in the corner. They're pretty easy to fucking do. It's soup. 
Super Tuesday! Star Lord Mode is a transformation super that lasts as long as you want it to, from 5 bars to 1. This gives the player access to more damage and giving normals with knockdown properties slightly more combo potential. Loops with binary system are present mid-screen and actually surprised me when going back and grabbing footage for the video. Loops into Crouching Fierce into Delay Heavy Crescent are present, but very tricky and inconsistent after the first Crouching Fears and Vortex to the ground. I'm even lucky I even had a footage for like this combo because it felt like a proper juggle and then it didn't. Hopefully during the release, the devs will, you know, consider making a quality of life change to change her hitbox properties. Or it'll just be me screaming into the void, thinking whether or not they'll be able to freaking FIX THIS CHARACTER'S HITBOX! That's essentially all I wanted to explain about the character and her exceptional combo potential. Annie overall, in terms of combos, felt like a simpler version of the Fortunes and Valentine. To get the most out of her damage and roofs requires some well-placed crouching strong pokes and or punishes. However, that won't stop the practical use of starters with medium crescent cut, you know? While this was almost a breakdown of the character, these were just some things to get the nogging jogging for creativity and constructing combos and whatnot. Since Going into every property is just not that interesting. I'm looking at you, Crouching Jab. And I'm also looking at you, Pillar of Creation. Two fucking bars for a launcher that Kim Kafuan can do in fucking one. Without further explanation, I will play the best five clips I've made, unedited. Uh, have a riot, have fun, and uh... Go to, go to space. 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 No space.